Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The string object has three main properties, length, prototype, and constructor. The length property is used to determine the length of the string. The prototype property allows you to add properties and methods to an object. The constructor property is used to return the function that created the string object's prototype. These basic properties are helpful when creating new objects and working with them in JavaScript. There are many different methods you can use with string objects. A complete list can be found in the appendix section of the instruction manual. The replace method is used to replace a specified value with a new value. The easiest way to implement this method is combining it with an on-click event. The search method is used to search a string for a specific value. This method will return the numeric index value for the first letter of the search term. The to uppercase method can be used to change all the characters in a string to all uppercase letters. As with most methods in a string object, the method is easily used when combined with an on-click event. The first sample code will show how to use the replace method to change the string contained in the paragraph with an ID of test. When executed, try it will be replaced with I tried it. Start with the body tag. Paragraph tag. Replace try it with I tried it in the paragraph below. Close paragraph tag. Button tag. On click equals quote test function. Open and close parentheses close quote. The button label click here and the close button tag. Paragraph tag with an ID of test try it and the close paragraph tag, close body tag, script tag, function test function, open and close parentheses, open curly brackets, var str equals document dot get element by id, parenthesis quote test, close quote, close parenthesis dot inner html, semicolon, Bear txt equals str dot replace parenthesis quote try it exclamation point close quote comma quote I tried it exclamation point close quote close parenthesis semicolon document dot get element by id parenthesis quote test close quote close parenthesis dot inner html equals txt semicolon close curly bracket and the close script tag. The next sample code will show how to use the search method. The opening paragraph is displayed followed by a button that when clicked will search the string and return the numeric index of the first letter in the search parameter the. Body start tag. Paragraph with an ID of P1 where is the first the in this sentence? Close paragraph tag. Button tag with an on click equals quote test function open and close parentheses close quote. The button label click here and the close button tag. Paragraph with an ID of test and the close paragraph tag. Close body tag. Script tag function test function open and close parentheses open curly bracket there str equals document dot get element by id parenthesis quote p1 close quote close parenthesis dot inner html semicolon there pos equals str dot search parenthesis quote the close quote close parenthesis semicolon document dot get element by id parenthesis quote test close quote close parenthesis dot inner html equals pos semicolon close curly bracket the close script tag 
and the sample code would output the result under the button and the result would be 9. The search starts at the W in where, which is index number 0, and searches to the T in the, which is index number 9. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.